In this video, we will talk about investment material. We will be covering the definition, composition, types, properties of ideal investment material, uses, advantages, and disadvantages. An investment material can be described as a ceramic material that is suitable for forming a mold into which metal or alloy is cast. The investment material consists of a mixture of three components. One, refractory material, its form of silica. Two, binder material, it's capable of binding the refractory material to form a coherent solid mass. 3. Chemical modifiers, non-oxidizing agent retarders, accelerators, and coloring agent are added to the refractory and binder material to enhance their physical properties. There are three types of investment material. 1. Gypsum bonded investment. These are used for conventional casting of inlay, onlay, crowns and partial denture made of gold alloy. They can withstand high temperature. 2. Phosphate bonded investment. These are used primarily for alloys that have to be cast at higher temperature than gold based alloys. 3. Silica bonded investment. These are alternatives to phosphate bonded investment for high temperature casting. Principally, Use in casting of base metal alloy partial denture. Properties of an ideal investment Sufficient strength at room temperature. It should permit easy in handling and provide enough strength at higher temperatures to withstand force of the molten alloy. Sufficient expansion to compensate for shrinkage. Porosity. It should permit easy escape of air or gases from the mold cavity. Smooth surface to preserve fine detail and margins on the casting. Easily manipulated. The uses are divided into high melting and low melting. High melting, phosphate bonded and silicate bonded are suitable for casting of base metal alloy. Low melting, gypsum bonded is suitable for casting of gold alloys. Advantages 1. Thermal expansion due to polymorphic displacive transformation of silica. Two, gypsum and phosphate bonded are porous. Three, phosphate bonded is used with both high and low melting alloys. Disadvantages, one, Gypsum is used low melting alloys. 2. Gypsum forms internal cracks in high temperature. 3. Silica bonded is non porous.